Hey, what's up guys? Uh, I just wanted to make a quick follow-up video uh, to the Bell's Palsy video that I just made like a minute or two ago. Um, I just wanted to say the day before this, all this happened, because I didn't want to make a new video, you know, it's <laughs> just to add this in. And the first video was pretty damn good. Um, and there it goes again. I gotta, I gotta watch that. I gotta remember to plink this side. Uh, I, I mean, I got a lot of strength on the side of my face. This is my, ah, uh, that's my, ah, uh, face. I can do that. And that's how I really know I'm okay and it's Bell's palsy because, ah, uh, the jaw inside is good. My, my, uh, my mandible, you know, my mastoid muscles really, ah, uh, too overly strong. That's part of my TMJ problem, which that's the other thing. This Bell's palsy is easing up on my TMJ. So actually this Bell's palsy is actually helping with my, with all this pain in my neck. I have a dip, the nerve behind my, the seventh cranial nerve that runs behind the ear, that hurts because that's part of the Bell's, Bell's palsy. But actually, man, you know, it's always tight here anyway, but not as tight, to, you know, and especially my TMJ. So this is actually helping some of the, some of the problems that I have related to my spine, oddly enough, ironically enough. Um, but I just wanted to let you guys know, uh, I actually got hit by a car, you know, uh, Wednesday, okay, so today's Friday, so yeah, it was Wednesday, and um, that's what happened, I got hit by a car, and um, it was a low speed impact, and I saw her coming, because I, I was already in the crosswalk, basically she was stopped at an intersection, and she was talking to somebody out of the passenger side window and she had a passenger so she's kind of talking over the passenger to this guy on the corner in the neighborhood and um she was like okay i gotta go i didn't actually hear her say that but that's what i kind of guess happened and without looking she just turns into the intersection she just turns i'm going straight through straight across the the crosswalk now when i first saw her I, she was stopped at the stop sign, but I saw she was talking to the guy, and I just gave her, a, a, because she was at the stop sign first, I gave her a moment to proceed. She didn't go. She kept talking to the guy. So I was like, all right, I'm going to go. So I start going, and then she starts turning. And at that moment, I was like, all right, can I try to beat her? But I was in a high gear on my bike, and I couldn't, I couldn't, you know, beat her. Uh, I couldn't get to the sidewalk fast enough, and she just kept coming. And I don't mean, you're supposed to look in front of you where you're, you know, you're not supposed to look one way, I was traffic, okay, and then start, you're always supposed to look in front of you if you're in motion, always. She didn't, I saw she was going to hit me and then I couldn't beat, beat her to the sidewalk, so, and believe me, two seconds of time when you're thinking fast is an eternity. So I realized I couldn't beat her, saw she was coming, and when she was about three feet away from me, I was like, I'm jumping on her on her hood. I'm just gonna jump on her hood. I'm not gonna be nice. I'm not gonna be courteous. I'm not gonna be hey, hey, hey. I'm gonna be like, nope, you're gonna hit me. I'm jumping on your hood. And that's what I did. And that's how I avoided injury. Because she would have taken my legs out. But I was able to jump on her hood. But because I have neck issues already, you know, being a stunt man isn't really my uh my ideal job. So um I thought maybe I'd hurt my neck. I was transported to Charlton by rescue. You know, they wanted to do an x-ray in my neck. I said, no, I don't want to get exposed to radiation. I fly every year. I, you know, I, I, I just got an x-ray in my spine not too long ago. And, you know, I, I already have thyroid problems in that area. I don't want to get hit with radiation. You know, I don't want to end up getting thyroid cancer because I'm already kind of, you know, vulnerable to that. And so I told them, no, no x-ray. I don't care how it makes me look on a lawsuit because I know my neck's fine. I'll take a CAT scan. Well, we don't really want to do a CAT scan. We can't, and we can't order an MRI. You have to get that from your doctor. So the next day I went, yesterday I went to my doctor and said, can you order an MRI, which I have today. Um, but of course, yesterday I had the CAT scan because of this whole Bell's palsy thing. So maybe I don't need to get the MRI today. I'm going to go find out right now. But that's what happened. I got hit by a car, low speed. I mean, uh, I'm not going to say zero to five miles. Obviously, if it's zero, she wasn't moving. But, um, you know, I'm going to say three to five miles an hour, you know. But she she pretty much pulled through. She would have hit me if, had I not jumped on her hood. She would have hit me with about eight feet worth of force. So that's not a lot, you know, before she came to a stop. She pulled eight, about eight feet through my body. So, you know, I ended up on her hood. And 
was like, screw you, lady. I'm laying on this hood until... But luckily, there was a police officer. There was a cop car right behind her coming over the crest of the hill that he says he saw everything. In fact, there was two, two officers, so they, they saw everything. She tried protesting. They said, no, lady, we saw you take him out. I was like, good. You know, for once, luck's on my side, for once. So that's what happens. That, that's why I was so worried about uh, the stroke, because I already know I got neck issues there. And I know the dangers of, of the condition I have and how, you know, it's rough on the arteries, especially getting neck adjustments. It's just all kinds of stuff I used to do, you know, um, as far as neck exercises, boxing, crazy shit. So um, I just, uh, I was worried. The doctors were worried. There I go blinking that side and not this side again. So that's what happened. Um, that's what happened. So, went to the hospital that day. I was released that day. And then, I'm going to upload the hospital video so you guys can see the Bell's palsy was kind of starting to set in, too. Um, in that video. This, that was the day before I realized that later that night I would eat a sandwich. I was, uh, I was talking to Austin, uh, you know, and I was eating a sandwich and I bit my lip. And I really bit it hard. I didn't even say anything to him. It fucking hurt. See, he, anytime I, anytime I say ow, he's like, oh, you're hypochondriac. So I was like, I bit my lip, and I was like, mm-hmm, you know what? He was t just talking, telling me something. I was like, mm-hmm, 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 okay. Yeah. Went to bed, and then the next morning, um, I was like, what the fuck is going on? What is this? Oh, my God. You know? Um... And then I was like trying to whistle, <sighs> couldn't do that, you guys already know, so. Anyway, figured out pretty quickly something was wrong with my face. <laughs> Keep picking my nose on camera. <laughs> I don't care, man. All right, guys, I'm just gonna try to enjoy life from now on and be a happier person and continue to be a happy person, not just today, because it happened. This, this really was a moment for me when I was in the hospital and I thought I was dying. I realized, wow, I thought I wanted to die. It was a, a total turnaround. It was like it was like when you think you know yourself and then you realize you don't. And I'm not ready to leave this world yet. I, I, I still, I'm young and I still got things I want to do. And, you know, it, mostly I had been, I've been in a depression the last couple of years, like I said, because of my pain. And I was thinking I don't want to live. And I was making, you know, d thoughts really are, when you're younger, you can have negative thoughts and you, you, you're so healthy and vibrant. The negative thoughts don't hold you down as much. So I never took negative thoughts seriously. Anytime somebody would say negative thoughts, I'm like, yeah, yeah, you're, you're a pseudo-psychiatrist. I, I know, buddy. But now, I really realize I can't uh, anymore. I just can't. I have to cool it down. It's, I know it's part of my personal. I'm always, I'm, always, I'm always on. I'm always engaged. I'm always plugged in. But um, I need to cool it down.